Welcome to New Millennial Kingdom. God bless you. Before I would continue with the message on the fullness of Christ, I want to clarify what does that mean to be holy. Holiness means set apart for God. I looked up the Hebrew strong dictionary, which basically says the same thing, consecrated, dedicated, hollowed, clean, purified, sanctified. So oftentimes people think of the cleanliness of uh, sexual behavior or, or pure living. But that itself is not holiness. But holiness, according to the Lord, is to be like Him, is to follow Him with a whole heart. That's holiness. To be the righteousness of Christ. And to surrender to Him and to obey Him. Of course, when we follow Him and surrender and obey Him, and we don't do things God would not be pleased with. So we try to be pleasing to our Father and our Lord in everything we do, everything we say. We try to be like Him. We try to be loving, giving people. And what is the two commandments He left us with? Love the Father with all our hearts, soul and mind, and love one another. Love our neighbor as love ourselves. If we love our neighbor, we always look for the way to be kind to them, to bring them something that cheer up their life, that just give them a smile or blesses them in a small way. Don't have to go behind what you can do, but just do what you can do. That is maybe sweeping before their doors also. That is maybe just give them a chocolate or, or say hello with joy so that they feel important, they feel noticed, or to tell them, if they need anything, they should come to you. Or to tell them the revelation you just received. See that they are important. See that your neighbors are important to you. Everybody is your neighbor. Don't walk by somebody who is in need. Just say, hey, what's up? What can I do? What's going on? You know, I talk to so many strangers, no strangers to me. As I walk on the street, I just see people you know, being maybe sad, maybe sitting down, maybe they are full of worry, maybe they are even homeless, and whatever their issues are. I just go to them and say, what's going on? And then they pour out their hearts, they open up their hearts, and then you feel the need the best you can. And that's holiness. It's following the Lord. He died, we are dead in Christ, and now He is risen. In us, in his body, his body is risen. So we dare to self. Let Christ Jesus live his life through us. Risen Christ. That's holiness. Now I'm going to just read two scriptures real quick Isaiah 5 16. But the Lord Almighty shows His greatness by doing what is right. And He reveals His holiness by judging His people. Now the Lord's judgment is never to punish. Now there are times God is permitting judgment to come upon the people, but never without warning. So they had sufficient time to repent. They just deliberately disobey. That's when it comes. But with all the coming natural disasters, God does not have to do anything else but take his hands off from those who are not his, because he needs to make a very special effort to protect those who are his. Need it be supernatural, setting angels around the depths of them, lift them up, whatever the case might be, that is what God is doing. That's his part, to protect, to provide. Praise the Lord. The judgment of the Lord is to what have you done with my word? That's the judgment of God. Have you lived according to my word? And so those who do not, they are just not holy and they cannot enter the kingdom. So they need to sanctify themselves. They need to become holy in order to enter. So God is taking off his hand of those people who are not holy. That doesn't mean he punishes them. They punish themselves by being unholy. So 
the consequences of unholiness is coming up on them. They are not shut out of the kingdom, they just need to repent. And these are important things to understand, I believe. Isaiah 8, 14, because of my awesome holiness, I am like a stone that people stumble over. I am like a trap that will catch the people of the kingdoms of Judah and Israel and the people of Jerusalem. What is he saying? Stone that people stumble over. What did Jesus say? He said that he is the rock, he is the rock of our salvation, and he is the stone that the builders rejected, and the stone of stumbling. 1 Peter 2, 7-8 Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and the stone of stumbling, and the rock of offense. Even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. I mean, it's clear, very clear that we either stumble over the word or keep the word. And if we keep the word, then we are holy. If not, we are not holy. And that's really what holiness is about. Of course, if we keep the word of God, we are going to be pure and we are going to be holy and not going to partake in immorality. That is just the smallest part of being holy. Praise the Lord. I also believe that those of us who are holy already we know this. And those who are to come in, they have to hear this in the name of Jesus. So please share, and I will continue with the message, Fullness of Christ, how to reach the statue of the fullness. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Lord.